Hey guys, how's it going, companion? So Blizzard has been kind of pushing its uh, marketing recently, at least as far as Hearthstone is concerned, and uh, we would kind of get to see this, you know. Some months ago they started with uh, some Hearthstone TV commercials, and uh, actually in some of my outings in the vast outdoors, I've actually seen some of them, and it looks, you know, it's really awesome, it's really cool feeling to see, oh man, I play that game, you know, whoa. Um, and, uh, you know, they've been kind of pushing the card back thing, and uh, I want to talk about mostly today on how they've really stumbled, how they've kind of failed to run one of their recent promotions, um, and give you guys some idea how you can get some free stuff, of course. So they have done this, like, extra card back promotion thing for uh, quite a few different games in quite a few different ways, and I think up until now they've kind of done it well. Uh, I feel like the worst card back promotion so far has been the uh, China only golden card back where you have to like uh, participate and do well in uh, a registered tournament in China or something like that and you get you get this card back and it's like the best one but it's the only way to get it which is really dumb because you know people who play Blizzard games uh, traditionally are like completionists. They, they want all the card backs, you know? They, it's like people who play World of Warcraft. They want like all those stupid ass pets, they want all those stupid ass mounts, just because, you know, I want them. I want to have everything, I want to have all the options. You know, this day I want to have this card back, this day I want to have this card back. So, you know, um, yeah, a lot of people who play Hearthstone are those type of people. And uh, in the past, uh, the, they have released, you know, some pretty, some pretty not so feel good ways. Um, in other ways that they have done a good job, for instance, with the Heroes of the Storm card back, um, this was really well done because on one Heroes of the Storm was a free game. They did the promotion on launch, and if you got, if you, I think if it's, it still works. If you get level 20 in Heroes of the Storm, you get the card back in Hearthstone, and that just, you know, that's really cool because it gets you more involved into Blizzard games, uh, and you you just feel good for trying something. And you know, if you want to go back to Hearthstone, it's like wow, you have a free card back. And if maybe you like the game that you tried, maybe you continue playing that. Um, they're doing another promotion with the new StarCraft expansion, the Protoss one. I kind of forget what it's called. And I'm not really into this stuff, but of course I'll play it. I'll play just as much of this as I played, you know, uh, what is it, Heart of the Swarm. Play for like one day and beat up all the bosses with Kerrigan. That was a lot of fun. I'll probably do something like that when this rolls out. And if you get to the uh, the digital deluxe edition of, of uh, the StarCraft game, uh, you get like another card back in Hearthstone. So it's kind of like that. You know, you offer a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And this is about as exclusive as I feel is right. So uh, recently... Uh, and the main the main thing that I want to talk about is this new uh, Samsung Galaxy S6 promotion. It's like gifts from Samsung. If you if you buy if you like you play Hearthstone on this new Samsung phone, you get a special card back and a three packs. And uh, obviously, this is like you know, it sounds like pretty sellouty, right? Um, so some people didn't really like this, but you know why would Blizzard do this? Well, uh, as it turns out, a lot of people who play Hearthstone these days play it on their phone. From this chart, I don't really know how they get their data, but uh, it's kind of interesting if it's true, and I'm guessing it's true. I don't know why not. Why wouldn't it be? Um, so Hearthstone does pretty well for PC. It was originally a PC game, but uh, you know when it comes to most uh, like phone games. There are no, like, phone games. They're all, like, complete trash. So Hearthstone's an actual game. So being able to play it on your phone is really sweet. So, you know, obviously the, the PC market kind of goes down a little bit because some people prefer to play on their phone, so they no longer play on PC. But on the other end, people who play on, on their phone, on their tablet, that kind of stuff, they realize just, just how good of a game it is for that platform. So, you know, people really get hyped, and Blizzard overall has done really well from marketing Hearthstone on mobile devices. And that's good. I'd like to see more people play Hearthstone. But with this promotion, um, you know, they probably got quite, they probably got like a giant sack of money from, uh, from Samsung to run this because, um, well, uh, it's, it's a very, very, very direct way to advertise like a phone product. So Samsung probably was really happy to jump, jump on this offer. And, um, yeah, it's not really one of those feel good card backs. And, uh, because of that, uh, people tried to find ways around it to get the rewards without actually buying a new phone. Because as it so happens, people who generally, you know, play Hearthstone, they already have a good phone. People generally already have a phone. They don't want to just get a phone to get a card back in the game. That's stupid, right? Like, I have a good phone. Yeah. Um, I don't even really use my phone very much. 
and I'm definitely not going to get a new phone to get a, a card back. I mean, are you kidding me? So people found uh, several ways to get around this, and I wanted to share with you guys those ways and uh, how it's so interesting and why people have been doing this. So uh, generally, I think people have uh, not really voiced their opinion about this promotion um, and it being just kind of dumb uh, because it's so easy to cheat it. So how are they doing that? Well, originally, uh, what people did is uh, they got like this root kind of way to root their phone and and make it seem like it's one of these new Samsung phones. And in doing so, log into Hearthstone through that and gets you the rewards. But that seemed like a little bit dodgy and not everyone really did that. But that was still, you know, all over Reddit for like a few hours. But then it really, really started. Um, people realized that there are uh, phone Android emulators for PC and uh, that you can make these emulators appear like any phone you want. And uh, this really caught on. You know, I'm one of those guys, you know, I, I go to Reddit, I check out what's going on in the Hearthstone scene every day, pretty often, actually most of the day, I'm just on Reddit a lot of the time, figuring out what the community's talking about. And I have a pretty good idea about when there's like a really hot topic. And this is like the hottest of topics. Like, like everybody on Reddit was doing this. So if you guys want, like, if you guys want the Samsung card back, if you guys want three card packs on every single account, every single region, you know, why not? You can just go ahead and do this. It's super easy. Um, I'm not going to show you guys how, how because I don't really want to be responsible for like technical issues, that kind of stuff, but I'll include in the description all the links and all, all the kind of stuff on how to do this. And um, yeah, uh, basically, uh, one of the popular ones is the Jenny Motion Emulator. And uh, it's, it's pretty hilarious because uh, it doesn't take very long. And really, it's not Samsung that benefited the most from this, even though they're kind of immortalized in Hearthstone in some way, which is that they got some of their money's worth. But really, the big promotion was for uh, Android emulator websites like Jenny Motion. So some people kind of trolled around. It's Jenny Motion gifts, you know, free, you know, free perks, free promotion, free advertising, thanks to this kind of terrible marketing uh I guess strategy, let's call it, um, and it got to the point where um, you know the Jenny Motion site was so hammered um, that they had to throttle the creation of new accounts. They made a tweet about that, and it's kind of funny because you can kind of you can kind of see they know what's going on. You know, they they kind of get the Hearthstone scene. They can see why people will be uh, checking out their website for the first time. So people were just doing that. They weren't going to buy a new phone to get you know, these rewards. Um, and, uh, you know, the, the next level people who didn't even like, maybe they don't have a computer, maybe they just uh, kind of found another way. People just go to the phone store, find a place that has one of these new Samsung phones and install Hearthstone and play it on that, you know? Just anything they can do to not have to get one of these new phones. So, uh, yeah, it didn't really work out too well for Blizzard, I feel. Uh, some people realized this and, you know, they were joking around on, on Reddit. It's like, wow, it's, um, it's, it's like almost all the Hearthstone users went out and bought S6s. We really helped your sales, Samsung. Blizzard, of course, of course. And some interesting replies there. So you get the idea. You know, Blizzard's really making a big effort to push for marketing. Blizzard's doing really well in the mobile scene. But this little bit of a slip up um, didn't didn't really go so well for them and I hope they kind of learn from this you know people don't want to like have to do stupid crap to get card backs people people want like most rewards in the game to be somewhat obtainable you know back in the day when I played like World of Warcraft some of like the most ridiculous stuff that I wanted and couldn't get were uh, like BlizzCon mounts or like BlizzCon pets or something like that I didn't feel too good about that, but it was like, you know, it's a Blizzard thing. I really, really wanted to go to BlizzCon, and I am this year, by the way. But, uh, you know, fine. Maybe I'll just try to get it from someone who went there. But this is like, you know, play your Hearthstone uh, account on a specific phone, and most people would kind of feel like they have to buy it or something. It's like, it's like ridiculous, you know? So, um, yeah. I'm glad they're coming up with all this fluffy ass content because again, I, I like all the fluffy content and I hope there is more of it, but I hope they really realize the good way of doing things and the not so good way of doing things. But fortunately, people on the internet kind of know what's going on and if you guys want this card back without actually having to get any new phone or anything like that and some free card packs, you know, you guys can this time around. So uh, a very interesting situation. 
Thought I'd tell you guys about it. Thought you guys might uh, enjoy my take. And, uh, well, we'll see what lies for the future. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys later.